Hello everybody, how are you? Kwa majina naitwa Anthony Mlelwa. Ah uh, wengi wanapenda kuniita Trees Magno. Uh, ni blockchain enthusiast lakini pia ni mkurugenzi wa masoko wa Encryptus Wallet, Sadify Wallet. Uh, leo niko kwa ajili ya kuweza kutoa uh, elimu kama kawaida na awareness lakini leo nitakuwa na crypto enthusiast mwenzangu ambaye uh, pia ni mwanafunzi wangu lakini sasa hivi amekuwa naye ni mwalimu wa mambo ya, ya cryptocurrency. Uh, karibu. Yeah, mimi kwa majina naitwa Ibrahim Mlelwa lakini nafahamika kama Irizi au Easy. Uh, mimi pia ni crypto enthusiast kwa na watu na education kwa watu kuhusu masuala ya blockchain technology na cryptocurrency na vitu vingine vyote vya blockchain industry. Yeah, so leo tutakuwa na uh, wakati mzuri kidogo wa kuweza kutoa mwanga kama tunavyojua sisi kazi yetu ni kutoa mwanga. Uh, na leo specifically tutaenda kuzungumzia kuhusu uh, the biggest scam in the blockchain technology au kwenye blockchain industry kwamba ni sehemu gani ambayo inakuwa inasababisha upotevu au watu kupoteza sana pesa kwenye blockchain industry. Kwa hiyo uh, tega sikio lako na pia make sure kama ume hata kuelewa na unataka kujua zaidi basi utat contact kwa namba ambayo tutaziweka hapo kwa ajili ya kupata course uh, za kuweza kusaidia kufanya maamuzi sahi uh, especially unapotaka kuja kutaka kuengage na mambo ya blockchain technology especially mambo ya cryptocurrency so yeah. bila kupoteza muda uh, tunaanza kuzungumzia kuhusu biggest scam kwenye blockchain technology uh, kwa uzoefu wangu mdogo ambao nimekuwa nao kwa kwenye industry ya blockchain actually tunaweza tukasema wizi mkubwa ambao upo huku ni watu kuwa na wrong perception na kuwa na mategemeo makubwa wakiamini kwamba uh, biashara ambayo inajihusisha yote ambayo imejengeje na blockchain technology ni heaven sent business yani kwamba wanajua kama ni biashara ambayo ukiingia tu basi unakuwa kwa unajua kwa sajili yeah. which is not true hii ni biashara kama biashara nyingine ina high season ina low season na ina wrong business as well kwa sababu mwisho siku watu wengi sana wamekuwa wakifanya biashara ambazo zinatumia cryptocurrency kama mode of payment lakini ukienda kwenye biashara za cryptocurrency halisia watu wengi hawawezi kuzifanya kwanza they are not attracting in a return kwamba watu wana expect labda kingine kwenye biashara hata tanza siku 10000 kwa siku kwa mtaji mdogo sana lakati at the end of the day biashara kama biashara ina misingi yake kwa sababu watu wanakuwa wana fail sana ku invest kwenye knowledge wanaenda kwenye perception ambayo inawapelekea kwenye utajiri inawapelekea watu kuanza kwa wrong na ile tunasema calculation calibrate utajiri ndani ya muda mfupi kitu ambacho hakiwezekani at the end of the day wanaishia kupoteza na wengi uh, ambao wanaamua ku stick na hizi biashara badala ya kupoteza wanafika stage sasa wanaanza kuwa waongo kwa kuaminisha watu kwamba huku kiingia kuna utajiri wa haraka haraka lakini ukiangalia uhalisia kumbe si hivyo lakini kwa sababu walishajiingiza huku wakiwa na mindset ambayo iko wrong lakini apart from being uh, with the wrong mindset lakini pia walikuwa tayari wamewaaminisha watu kwamba wao ni matajiri kwa hiyo wanaishia stage ya kwanza kuishi maisha ya uongo ili wawaaminishe watu kwamba huku kuna utajiri wa rais which is the very wrong thing na ni kitu ambacho mimi kama crypto enthusiast nikaona ni share na wenzangu ili muweze kujua kwamba maisha ya kwenye biashara ya sarafu digitali na blockchain technology kwa ujumla moja ya scam kubwa ni watu kuwa na wrong perception kuhusu uhalisia na mategemeo ambayo anakuwa nayoona. Sio kama ukikuwa na kimnuzo kaongeza Mr. Ah, ni kweli ni kweli ni kweli. Kwa sababu yani kama uja kuona ni kwamba mara nyingi sana mtu kuwa scammed au kuibiwa kwenye masuala ya biashara za kimtandao hizi mara nyingi sana kwa sababu ya mtu ile kuwa na kiwe mafanikio ambayo haujajua nini unakifanya. Mm. Kwa hiyo watu ile kukosa knowledge ya nini unakifanya inawapelekea kuwa na mategemeo ambayo sio sahihi. Kwa sababu unajua mtu ukishakuwa na idea ya nini unataka kukifanya hata kija mtu kupatia idea fulani ambayo haiko sahihi unaweza ka sense kwamba hapa hakuna uhalisia lakini sasa kinachotokea ni kwamba saizi kuna hii hype ambayo imepita sana mtandao ni saizi uh, toka blockchain yaweze ku trend duniani cryptocurrency imekuwa very famous sana kwa hiyo sasa kila mtu ambaye anapata idea kwamba kuna blockchain na watu wanapiga sana pesa au kuna bitcoin au kuna nini kwa hiyo anakuwa na ile queue ya kujua kwamba kuna pesa sasa kwa kosa knowledge tu ile anakuwa anajua kama nikiingia huko moja kwa moja atoboa sasa ndo scammers wanapita pale pale kwa sababu yeye ile ile siraha ya mtu anayekuibia wewe ni wewe weakness yako wewe kutoka kujua vitu na ile kiwa mafanikio ya haraka bila kujua unafanikio wake mm-hmm. kwa exactly hiyo ni kitu mbaya sana kwa watu yeah so that's the, the first thing ambacho kinafanya watu wapoteze pesa sana kwa sababu kama mtu unajua exactly nini ambacho unakifanya itakuwa ni rahisi kujua hapa naambiwa uongo hapa naambiwa ukweli na kitu kikubwa zaidi ambacho pia ningependa kukiongeza kwenye scam kubwa kwenye sarafu digitali au kwenye ulimwengu wa blockchain uh, Unajua vitu vingi kwenye sarafu digitali vimekuwa vikitrend. Kwa mfano, 
Yeah. Uh, few years ago, kwa mfano FB na 17 Bitcoin ilikuwa trend sana. Kwa watu wakawa najua Bitcoin ndo yani ndo kila kitu kila kampuni kitu. ndo biashara ndo kila kitu. Bila kujua kwamba Bitcoin is a face cryptocurrency to be in a digital finance system. Yeah, Kuna crypto sana. zaidi ya 2020 ambazo zipo. Bitcoin yeah. ni, ni ile tu ambayo iko dominant na ni kubwa. Sasa ikafika saji watu wanajua kabisa kwamba oh kumbe watu wanajua kwamba Bitcoin ni hela. So mtu akitengeneza tu website yake akiandika Bitcoin sio ana trade kwenye Bitcoin sio nani. Mtu anajua hajui hata yeah. trading inafanyika vipi. Sequence ya kutengeneza profit na loss kwenye crypto inakuwaje. Lakini amekuandikia tu pale tuna trade Bitcoin tunalipa sio 2%, 1%, 0.5% every day mpaka sio muda gani mtu anaona yeye hii ndio yenyewe. Lakini pale amekuteka hiki lakini kama ungelikuwa unajua kwamba trading is having losses and profit sometimes unaweza kujua kwa sababu hapa tunadanganya kwamba hakuna profit ambayo inakuja hivi saa hizi imekuja kitu cha nft imekuja kitu cha metaverse gamify sio nini gamify what do they have misleaded completely kwa sababu wanajua yeah. ah saa hizi nft kuna hela mtu anaandika tu we are trading nft how nft gani eh kwa sababu when you talk about nft you are talking about uh, something which is like a token it's yeah. like a pass i, I mean uh, kama ni kama tunasema a pass ticket to a certain project to a certain access eh, to a certain service sasa mtu leo anaweza kana nft ya maps ile ni collector for the collector people inaweza kana kind of advantage lakini for a normal guy for a normal guy unanunua nft ya nini alafu mtakwambia na trade nft na wewe unakubali kwamba ah nft kuna hela kwa sababu kwenye website umeandika nft you are taken like that kwa hiyo kibaya zaidi ni kwamba watu wanakuwa wanajua kabisa kipi kina trend duniani na kiu ya watu ni kufanikiwa haraka overnight Yeah, kwa hiyo wanatumia ule udhaifu wa watu kutaka kufanikiwa haraka kwa kutumia terms ambazo zina trend na kukuaminisha kwa mfano mtu leo anakuambia kwamba we are making money in metaverse how no there is any kuna, kuna that is a, a metaverse that's a wrong perception yeah, yeah, because at kuleo. the end of the day metaverse is very indirect to making money that's a communication yeah, that's platform tool sasa communication lazima kuwe na activity nyingine ambayo ita take through uh, ile communication ni facilitate ile yeah, yani it's like yeah. well, mfano mdogo ni kwamba yani what people don't understand ni kwamba kwa mfano ukichukulia swala la facebook na instagram yeah. it's so platform za kutufanyia biashara yeah. lakini tu kwamba you can be a little bit cheeky yani ukawa kidogo na technique yako binafsi ukageuza ile influence yako kwenye kwenye hizo social medias kama instagram na hiyo kutengeneza pesa yeah. so watu wengine sasa sijua kama wanatumia the same knowledge kwamba maybe kwenye metaverse kuna hicho kitu au hawaelewi kabisa lakini kuna biashara nyingine ukizisikia tu kama unaelewa nini unacho 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 deal nacho ukishasikia neno metaverse just know that that's just a communication thing mm-hmm. kwa hiyo mtu akiingia kule kwenye perspective ya pesa anakuwa anakosea kabisa kwa hiyo bado tunaona kabisa kwamba kuna watu wengi ambao wana lucky sana uh, knowledge kwenye masuala ya blockchain technology maana wanakuwa na perception ambazo sio sahihi kabisa yeah. yeah it's very weird yani mtu kufikiria kupiga pesa kwenye metaverse na na game fire hapa sema kwa okay okay nataka kupiga pesa there is there is there is much much to learn there ujifunze vitu vingi ujue protocols ikoje na nini of course kwa mfano swala swala la, la nfts yeah, yeah mimi sikuja nilikuwa niko around internet nilikuwa nikaanza napita pale Tanzania hapa kuna mtu ana anauza nfts yani anakuuza ana nft moja moja na nusu sasa sijajua nusu ni nini lakini in real sense kwenye uhalisia wa nfts majua zile pale ni, ni art yani ni mm. art ambazo ziko kwenye digital form inaweza kuwa ni art inaweza kuwa ni jina umiliki so, kitu eh, yeah. sasa ile kitu for, for people who are buying those watu wanaenda kununua nfts unapoenda kununua nft yani usijitofautishe sana mtu ambaye anunua art kama hizo maisha ya kawaida mm. kuna watu hawa ambao tunajua ni art collectors yeah. kama picha za Mona Lisa hizi zina trend duniani zina expense expense kubwa sana ziko sehemu kuna watu ile ndo fani yao yani unasema kwamba unapenda kununua nft unanunua kitu ambacho unakipenda wewe ukio ukiona kama nimenunua hii ni collection yangu inakaa nyumbani kwa no. lakini kwa watu wengine is a business kwa sababu wao wanakuwa wanafanya art collecting wanaweka sehemu kwenye display alafu wanaenda kuuza kwa watu wengine na ndio maana kwa watu ambao wanafanya ya biashara ya kuuza NFTs huko nje walioendelea sana huko na masoko makubwa yeah. anakuwa na collection ya NFTs nyingi anaziuza lakini lazima ujue kuinvest kwenye blockchain kwamba eh, hii hapa ilikuwa na mtu fulani inaweza kwa mtu fulani sasa hizi na biashara yeah. hivyo sasa for a normal guy kwa mtu wa kawaida ukiona tu kuna tangazo sawa hela kuhusu NFTs zinauzwa alafu naingia kwamba huko unaweza kupigwa hela mara nyingi sana unakuwa unaibiwa yeah sababu huwezi tu kununua NFT from just a normal guy hujui iko verified na blockchain ipi au iko nda protocol gani inafanya nini exactly ni vitu vigumu sana kuelewa. Yeah. Kwa we have to learn. Yeah, to exactly na kuongezea hapo kwenye kitu ambacho umekiongea ni kwamba basically hata ukiangalia kwenye mambo ya crypto. Previously ukiangalia watu walikuwa kuna tabia ya fanene mpaka size bado ipo. Yeah. Mbona nakwambia kuna coin hii hapa bwana ukinunua mwezi ujao itaingia sokoni itakuwa bei fulani. That's a very How do you know that? How do you know that? Because you at the end of the day you just know. Kuna vitu vingine watu wanajabia inabidi ku reason in a very normal Uh, intelligence level kwamba yeah. 
kama ingelikuwa ni hivyo that means everybody could have been rich tungejua kwamba hapa tunaingia tu hapa tunaona kwa hivyo lakini one uh, swala la crypto price there is nobody who's having a crypto bull akusema kwamba ata control bei pande hapa ishoke okay. hapa that's yeah. a market balance stuff yani market ndo ina control bei ya coin ifike wapi alafu kitu kingine i'm not a good fan of these uh, ico and ito initial coin offering and initial yeah. token offering when the crypto is not in the regular market i don't advise anybody to go and buy them kwa sababu yeah. you are not so sure kama hiyo itaingia kwenye market na ubaya coin au crypto ukinunua kabla haijaingia kwenye market the percent kwamba itaenda ku excel kwenye market is very low kwa sababu yeah. uh, with my knowledge since i got into crypto stuff sijawahi kuona ico ama ito ime yeah. succeed kuingia kwenye mainstream ya market ya, ya crypto market kwenye ecosystem ya crypto market haijaitokea yeah, haijaitokea yeah, 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 yeah. the, the bad thing with that ni kwamba hizo ico nyingi sana zipo kwenye kwenye pressure sana kwa manipulated kwa sababu mtu anaanza kafanya pump and dump pale pale mm-hmm. it's very easy kwa sababu ile liquidity yake inakuwa ni ndogo sana mtu anaanza kabla akatia tu hela kiasi fulani nyingi tu yeah. aka elevate price ya coin nyinyi mkanunua wengi sana mkajua imepanda juu akaja kutoa pesa is falling already kwa hiyo ina maana ni kweli sana hizi ICO sio coins za kusema mtu uweze ku na the same time pia sometimes unaweza kununua coin ambayo mtu ina back door ya kwenye smart contract yake yeah. akafanya rug pull yeah. yeah unajua the good thing is kuna kuna kipindi nakati najifunza kwako ulikuwa mm. unaniambia masuala ya 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 ya, ya nani ya economics za yeah. cryptocurrencies yeah. and that's a basic na nahisi kwenye vitu ambavyo tutakao tujifunze sana ni basics za kujua namna gani ya, kuta, ya kutambua hii coin inafanya kitu gani should i buy it or not kwa sababu unapenda kununua coin fulani lazima ujiwekewe mwenyewe yani uwe na ile msingi wa kujua kwamba nainua hii kwa sababu gani yeah. au hii nainunua inafanya kazi gani unaweza kuona nunua uh, product ambayo haifanyi kazi au au haina uh, yani haina nitini yote ile duniani kwenye kuitumia ni sawa na, 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 na msala ya nani ya NFTs kuna watu wengine wanaanza kununua NFT fulani ambayo imekuwa ni very trending lakini baadaye kushinda kuiuza kwa sababu no one wants it exactly yeah so una kuna kuna kuleza pesa kwa nothing so is yeah. hata kwenye coin unaweza kununua coin fulani una na price nzuri kwenye market nafanya mm. lakini haipo kwenye exchange yoyo yote yeah, unanunua unabaki kuona lakini msha siku you can't send it anywhere ushapoteza pesa hapo tayari na basically for, to add more on that uh, people should understand kwamba blockchain technology ni open source code yeah, yeah. haina syllabus ya kusema kwamba project ili ifanikiwe nitakiwe na 1 2 3 hapa yeah, and doesn't belong to does, directly hey. so the thing is sometimes inezka protocol imetengenezwa kwa sababu that is an open source code mimi nakafikiria akaona kwamba Uh, akafanya forking ya labda ya blockchain fly na kaona mimi nikifanya hivi itakuwa na more usability more features and itakuwa more accessible yeah. lakini it's not necessary kwa ile protocol ikafaulu inaweza ikafail pia yeah, 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 kwa yeah, mfano ukiangalia what happened with a, with a terra community uh, yeah. luna ili crash because their protocol was new yeah. lakini pay it was not stable yeah. to test i mean to, to pass the test especially kwenye crashing market ika fail so sometimes people have to learn better about the tokenomics yeah yeah okay. na tokenomics na bidu isome tokenomics peke yake ukishaelewa before you get involved with any project lazima usome white paper kwa sababu kama umeelewa tokenomics vizuri unakuna jua kwamba okay kama kwenye inakuwa na criteria 1 2 3 na solution hii na hii na hii uh, what about the ile ile modality yake ya, 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 ya oh, yeah, privacy yeah. au publicity ya blockchain yake is it a, a total decentralized or whatever kwa hiyo ukijua zile ina maana hatukienda kuisoma ile white paper inakuwa ni rahisi kudecide kama hiyo kweni wewe unaweza kujitumikiza miguu na mikono ama la eh yeah, 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 yeah. na in real sense mimi najua kwamba the real crypto project ukitaka ku get involved with them kwa mimi ninavyojua zile business za crypto yeah. they don't have a direct loss ta sure yeah. ni, ni kwamba kuna 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 kitu ambacho inatakiwa watu wakijue ni kwamba yani if we let to, 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 to normal currency ni kwamba kuna biashara za pesa na biashara zinazotumia biashara za pesa is all about yani money with money money with yeah. money yani unafanya biashara ya pesa kwa pesa lakini yeah. biashara nyingine hizi ya masuala ya banks lakini hizi biashara nyingine ambazo unatumia pesa you can buy certain good of ukapotea moja kwa moja kwa sababu mm-hmm. ile sio pesa it's just money yeah. has been used as a mode of payment so the same kwa ndapenda kwenye kwenye masuala ya blockchain technology kwenye cryptocurrencies hata ukitaka kwenda kununua nfts mara nyingi sana kwenye most of the world so, unatumia una crypto fund kwenda kuna hiyo nft mm-hmm. yeah. yeah kwa sababu ndo ni msingi ambao hiyo nft imejengwa kwenye blockchain fund na kwenye token fund so is is something very authentic na 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 masuala ya, ya cryptocurrency kwa sababu ziko very straight forward so it's very good ulivyosema kwamba watu wajifunze sana kuchambua coin kusoma tokenomics za za za, za cryptocurrencies itasaidia sana yeah na i think uh, before we finish up our conversation uh, it's better to kawa remind watu pia kwamba yeah. biashara za fedha si si kwamba ni kitu kipi unajua watu wengi nimeona wakisema kwamba uh, i cannot buy maybe bitcoin because i don't know who's the owner like look uh, uh, projects are blockchain they don't need for you to know who is the owner you just yeah. need to understand the protocol kwenye white paper na tokenomics ikikaa vizuri that's all you want to know because at the end of the day 
ile decentralized project ya blockchain yoyote ile founder huwa anakuwa na nguvu kipindi cha create project yeah, lakini akishai deploy kwenye internet anakuwa hana power ya kufanya kitu chochote kile yes. that is the power of the users the validators eh, and uh, the miners wanando wanakuwa na nguvu ya ku decide whether they want to change the rules or whatever so ni muhimu sana watu kujua kwamba hata biashara za uh, za, za, za fedha kwa mfano tunasema decentralized i mean financial services yeah. ni crypto na kitu decentralized financial services yeah defi yeah see 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 kwamba ni ni, 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 ni lazima uh, 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 biashara ya, ya, ya fedha iwe tofauti no the, the only difference ni kwamba kwenye crypto ni kwamba there is no centralization yeah, that's kwamba unafanya sijui unaweza kuchukua mkopo kuna kuna platforms zinatoa mikopo lakini you don't need to go and negotiate with anybody as long as you have the quarterly you take the the loan you do kwa sababu watu wanafanya yield farming yes. eh, kuna fixed account watu wanafanya staking those business they don't have a loss ila kuna kitu ambacho tunasema kwamba crypto zote zimekuwa subject kwenye price up price down. down. Yeah, yeah. Hiyo ni kitu ambacho uwezo control. Lakini kama unafanya the correct business ya crypto, haina faida kubwa sana always. Yeah. Kuna low season, high season, lakini at the same time there is no possibility wewe kuloose asset zako kama unafanya business ambayo iko correct. Yaani that is that is impossible. Ila yeah. kama you are getting into something because you have seen like you want to be rich in a single day, basically you are going to lose your asset. Oh, you are going yeah. to lose your money. Yeah, that, that's very correct. That's yeah. very correct. Yaani mimi nicho unajua kipenda sana kwenye swala la blockchain. Unajua kilichofanya blockchain ije trend sana ni, ni services zake kuwa ziko reliable sana maisha ya watu wa sasa hizi. Yeah. Yaani it's very good kwa sasa kwamba tunakwenda ku decentralize kila kitu. Yeah. It's very good. Mimi nilikuwa nafikiria nikiwa nafikiriaga yaani kikawaida tu kwamba maisha ya kawaida ya, ya binadamu anaishi kwamba una, 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 unaenda kufanya uh, ulimbali mbali kwenye kwenye kwenye, kwenye masuala services kama banki na nini kule of course kuna kuna kuna, kuna portal kama ziko za kawaida lakini kwenye blockchain technology wana take hizo vitu kwenye next level. Yeah. And I'm very sure ni kwamba kwa watu ambao watajifunza uh, blockchain vizuri na na vitu vyake vizuri kwa kwamba wajifunze masuala ya cryptocurrency, wajifunze NFTs, DeFi vizuri yelewe, baadaye itakuwa na impact kubwa sana kwa maisha yao. Kwa sababu this is where the world is going. Na ni kwamba ukiangalia namna gani uh, blockchain ina, ina take place kwenye kila uh, kwenye kila aspect dunia. Ukiangalia masuala ya arts, kuna NFTs, masuala ya pesa, kuna cryptocurrencies, in sports and games, masuala ya games kuna gamify na nini metaverse kwenye communication na hizo ndo na ndo hizo ni pillars ambazo zinafanya uh, duniani pesa iweze kuzunguka vizuri. Yeah. So for example, uh, unapoongelea masuala ya financial services kwenye DeFi ulivyokuwa umesema kwa kidogo kwamba yeah. kwenye DeFi uh, ni kwamba tunahusika kila kitu ambacho masuala ya mikopo labda. Unajua mikopo kwa, kwa, kwa watu wengi is very tough kupata mikopo kwa sababu na kwamba yeah. mwingine hau au kidhi vigezo labda mm. wanataka wajue wewe ni nani. Yaani kuna ile watu kujua sana kwa sababu this is how centralized things works. Yeah. Lakini the better thing with blockchain wana decentralize kila kitu. Yaani unakuwa tena hauna haja ya kufahamika na mtu fulani upate service fulani. Yeah. Now, kwa the blockchain ina, 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 ina take everything to the next to the next level. Yaani it's very good. Kwa mfano hata sasa hizi yani mtu ambaye hata hauna kiwanja, ha, hauna miti wala nini, unaweza kwenda kuchukua kwa mkopo wa maana, wakapata mkopo wako. Mm, Na the good so. thing is you loan while bado upo in leverage ya kupata nini faida zaidi. So yeah. blockchain inachukua vitu kwenye next level ambayo itakuwa ni very amazing. Yeah, so actually I think uh, hatutaweza kuongea kila kitu lakini kumbuka tunafanya conversation kwa udhamini mkubwa kabisa wa wallet inaitwa Encryptus ambayo unaweza ukaenda Play Store na Apple Store kadownload ni wallet ambayo actually uh, mimi kwa kusafiri kwangu nimesafiri same tofauti tofauti yeah. through East Africa, went to Dubai, Nigeria. Most of the people they still have the same problem kwamba getting into something with a high expectation uh, without understanding the reality. Na watu wengi wako tayari ku risk kwenye kujaribu kitu ambacho hakijui more than risking to get the knowledge of it. Yeah, which is very bad. Lakini I think people should now try to uh, take this to the next level. Kwamba it's not something that they should come and gamble. Uh, no, no. Yaani hata kama mtu anaamua kufanya hizo vitu zingine ambazo anajirisikia mwenyewe lakini akifanya ikiwa na uelewa it's good. It's good yeah, yeah lakini, understand. It's really good for you to take your time, put your investment when your knowledge, then from there you can decide if this business works for you or yeah. not. Kwa sababu si kwamba blockchain technology businesses ni lazima uwe unahusika kwa. Of course there are numerous of business that can be mm. built in a blockchain uh, technology. Lakini to be used ndio sasa leo unakuta biashara ya madini wanasema ina faida lakini it's not like everybody can do that. You, you cannot just go and then yeah, just you have to understand do mining and stuff. Exactly. So even in the crypto stuffs it's the same thing you have to understand how it works and then itakusaidia wewe kuweza kujua ni namna gani unaweza uka get involved au si get involved kabisa yeah yeah so sisi pia tuna, tunatoa mafunzo kama ambavyo tunafanya uh, some of the students of mine they know 
even this guy is my my student as well so kutupata we have our contacts that are going to be shown down there kwangu mimi namba yangu ni ile ile 0656204472 napiga simu na book appointment then unapangiwa muda wa kuweza kupata foundation education ambayo itakusaidia uweze kujua nini cha kufanya special ninapokuja kwenye swala zima la cryptocurrency na blockchain kwa ujumla so namba ni hiyo hapo lakini pia unaweza kumtafuta Iris Iris naye anafundisha i am proud of him i have taught him for one year but now he's good he's very good especially hata kwenye mambo ya game fine metaverse is very good so you can contact him yeah yeah mimi napatikana uh, kwa namba ya simu 0768683297 hiyo ni whatsapp na calls za kawaida i'm also available ko the good thing ambacho nimependa sana kwenye 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 hii progress ambayo sasa hizi inafanyika ina, ina kwa sababu Tanzania hapa i've been seeing so many people yeah yeah wana, wana, wanatoa fursa kwa watu za biashara so watu wanakuja tu fursa lakini wanakuwa haujui nini nakifanya exactly na hata mwenye hata wao wenyewe sometimes pia wanakuwa they don't even know what yeah, they're doing kwamba mtu amepewa tu fursa mtu mwingine kwamba tell people this yeah, yeah. waambie wafanye kitu fulani wanafanya lakini wanakuwa hawajui exactly nini wanafanya yeah. so the better thing i think ni kwamba mtu ajifunze like all the basics ajue kila kitu then from there now unaweza kuwa na option ya kwa sababu blockchain na business opportunities nyingi sana yeah. so after you understand you can now choose okay nifanye kitu fulani nifanye hichi hapa nifanye hichi hapa nifanye kitu fulani hata mtu mwingine kushawishi biashara fulani because you know the reality tell you code unajua kwamba okay now this is not working hii sio kweli yeah. yeah. so actually to uh, to tunataka tukamalizia kusema kwamba uh, scam kubwa katika blockchain industry ni ujinga like anyway exactly. lack of knowledge lack of knowledge so usiwe mmoja kati ya hao watu ambao wanaangamia kwa kosa maarifa gong is hype uh, usiende na hype kwa ukiona kitu kanaoni kime hype basi naona sema na mimi huku kunaenda hapana tumia cryptocurrency is still there eh bado ipo kwenye development stage so tumia mtumia muda wako vizuri soma elewa then ufanye maamuzi kuna jua kabisa ni kitu gani ambacho unaweza kufanya kwa sasa hii kwa mfano sasa hizi tunakuta vitu vingi vime develop kwa mfano sasa hizi mimi niko niko Tanzania lakini i'm working online with a company which is in US it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's very amazing so i'm the marketing director of the company which is in US and we are working good and i accepted the job because first of all they saw my potential in a blockchain i'm teaching in a correct way yeah. like in the second thing ani kaona pia project yao ilikuwa nzuri ndio maana mpaka saa hizi inatu of course tumeshafanya workshop kadhaa za kusaidia watu kufundisha tulishafanya uh, events arena tukafundisha watu kuhusu blockchain again still we keep on educating people uh, and uh, you can go and download the app uh, play store na apple store and bring kids na ukajaribu kutumia kwa sababu nafanya defi services yield farming um, staking, staking uh, saving and whatever you can just yeah, use so that stuff, yeah. yeah so Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. We hope to see you next time in case of anything. Sau contact number zetu and then you are we are going to have uh, the good lead towards the understanding of this technology. Thank you very much and God bless you. Bye. Okay.